Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. We have a lot of useful information to cover, so we'll get started right away. I'll be speaking over the next hour, and I will be taking questions for the last 10 to 15 minutes of the presentation. If you would like to access this presentation, reach out to me after, and I will be happy to send it over. So before we begin, can we get a quick sense of the room if you are in a particular industry? So if you are a property manager, just write that in the chat. We'll collect that data just so that we know who we're presenting to. So if you're an architect, please write that in the chat. Interior designer, engineer, contractor, engineering sales, developer, or just here to learn about 3D site models in construction and design. Okay, great. So what I'm seeing is that there's about 80% contractors, 10% architects and interior design, and about 10% engineering. So let's get started. So we all share the same frustrations throughout the life of a project. Unclear design resulting in rework and expensive change orders, delays and progress payments due to responsiveness of consultants that haven't had time to physically verify progress on site. And I know I've been guilty of that on a few occasions or unforeseen site conditions resulting in extended schedules or missed deadlines. And to top it off, we're experiencing abnormally high equipment costs due to inflation. So the question is, how do we use technology to improve our project success rate? My name is Aaron Chute. I'm a construction and commissioning specialist for a national engineering firm called MCW Consultants. MCW is a full service mechanical and electrical design firm with offices in every major city across Canada. Now, I have had the privilege of working with many of you that are on the call today, and I'm excited to connect with new people and potentially work with you on future projects. I'm the founder and host of energyvisionary.com, which is an online education platform dedicated to commercial and municipal property owners. The platform gives useful information on how to lower utility costs and invest in energy efficiency technologies and strategies. So I consider 3D virtual models to be a tool to reduce our carbon footprint by limiting the number of site visits and rework required on our project sites. So my goal for this talk today is to share with you the success I've seen on site and what I've learned about 3D virtual site models and how they can help lower project costs, save time, and increase productivity. I'll be walking you through the life of a project from initial design planning, through construction, to as builds, and finally to owner training and turnover of a facility. I will be discussing the current way of doing things and the frustrations we all share at various stages. From initial project conception, 3D models give the property manager the ability to collaborate with the design team right from the start as to set the groundwork for the owner project requirements. The design team has the ability to set up plans much faster with point cloud data that is generated by the 3D cameras and scanners. This process is called scan to CAD or scan to BIM. This process often results in a reduction of design time in the range of 40% less time compared to traditional drawing setup. We've been working on various projects at the Bant Springs Hotel for many years, and the record drawings are very old. As there are no typical rooms throughout the hotel, our designs are often complex and do not capture the unique level of detail of each and every space. By incorporating a 3D scan of the property, we are able to generate and share a much more comprehensive design package. By offering a virtual bid walkthrough, you will be able to receive a much more competitive bid 
from higher number of confident contractors. Based on my experience in construction, if we didn't have a clear sense of a project renovation, we would often inflate our pricing or once receiving the job and investigating site further only to discover that there were obstacles not accounted for that were in the way of us completing our work. As a result, we would have to request additional fees due to the extra work required on site compared to the scope of work outlined in the drawings. I will show you how easy it is to share 3D models to allow any contractor or subcontractor to virtually visit and confirm site measurements prior to submitting a bid. While I agree that visiting a project is required and very beneficial during construction, site is often very loud and active with busy workers, making it difficult to conduct a meeting. Depending on the project location and urgency of the meeting response deadline, gathering on site with all required team members is often not feasible. As a result, RFI questions, responses are delayed and the project schedule slides. Virtual 3D models gives you the ability to gather the team from anywhere in the world to virtually visit site, resolve those RFIs quickly and in a safe and quiet environment. I will go in depth to show you the many benefits incorporating 3D models into your construction management platform. As part of a complete project turnover, the contract specification documents often calls for the contractor to provide updated red line as builds of what was actually completed on site. The accuracy of these as builds is key to future planning, maintenance and renovations. We will discuss the value for ownership to retain a 3D digital as build to help with facility operator training and maintenance. With knowledgeable building operators or boomers retiring as the cool kids call them, their years of knowledge also walks out the door. We will review how embedding that knowledge into a 3D model can help facility engineering understand how their building is operated. Because this is such a valuable tool, no matter what your role is on a project, 3D virtual models are a fast and easy way to create, manage, and share between all stakeholders. Now, when I first heard about 3D virtual site models or digital twins, they're also called, I was skeptical. After working in construction for 11 years and now on the consulting side for the past nine, I knew that technology adoption was very slow. Construction sites often move a lot faster than design team responses. I thought that sharing a 3D model would be too slow, costly, and difficult with everyone involved. I thought that in order to view a 3D model, you would need to wear special VR headset. Well, if this were the case, there's no way this would end up on a project site anytime soon. Years later, I'm glad that I did take the time to learn about this technology and the incredible difference it has made throughout the life of our projects when implemented correctly. Time is the factor on a project that determines success. If you take too much time, you will lose profit, you will lose reputation, and the capacity to move on to the next project. If you can reduce the time it takes to exchange clear directions, you will often see positive returns on your project. So we have a division at MCW that completes energy audits to help building owners make informed decisions on what they can invest their capital in to help lower utility costs. Part of our process is to review existing conditions and systems of each property. Now, depending on the project and often months or years later, the client will proceed with one of our energy conservation measures. By completing a 3D scan of those properties, we are able to easily refer back to that building and virtually walk in to help generate plans without the need to travel back to that site. This saves us countless hours and time in design phase. 
So without a clear design, a focused understanding of what is required, regardless of what you're trying to achieve, you will take longer to complete, it will cost you more than necessary, and you will often make life harder than it should be. Early civilizations also had similar issues in construction and learned the hard way about having a clear plan and getting on the same page. Our early ancestors discovered that creating symbols and pictograms achieved the goal of transferring a story or procedure for whatever projects they were working on. To poke fun at our electrical colleagues, their drawings haven't changed much as they still use very similar symbols on their drawings. I mean, what could be more clear than a sideways dollar sign or a triangle with a dot on it? The truth is, technology has always played an important role in the way we complete and deliver successful projects. Since we are a creature of habit, adapting to new technology is often slow. In fact, we were drafting plans to paper for centuries until the industry adopted computer-assisted design we know as CAD. And once again, the industry embraced more efficient technologies, and just as many of us were adapting to AutoCAD to create 2D plans and eliminate the need for a team of drafters, the next big thing came along. Now we have BIM 360. While BIM is certainly becoming a standard now to ensure that we shoehorn into a building will actually fit as the old saying on a construction site goes, it looks great on paper. The fact of the matter is, even with advanced BIM models in concept, once you bring that to real life, you often find unforeseen site conditions. Those unforeseen site conditions often result in, yes, more questions, RFIs, and change orders to the owner. So after our clients review our design proposal or energy audit report, they allocate budget funds to proceed with a building improvement, renovation, or expansion. Traditionally, we begin with planning meetings, often looking at outdated as-builds or whatever information they do have on file. We proceed with multiple site visits to visually check the space and compare it to these as-builds. We often take many photos or whatever notes we can to compare to create a set of drawings. Oftentimes, the person who visits site now has to go back to the office and recap what was reviewed on site and again, sort through hundreds of photos. We set up the drawing files from the as-builds and detail the scope of work for our mechanical or electrical systems. When we're able to create a 3D model of a space, we're able to get everyone involved before we generate these drawings to make sure we capture all the details the owner requires. The procedure of gathering existing building information from on-site measurements and old record drawings is the current way most projects are built. This is often a time-consuming procedure that results in many assumptions and limits on the level of design detail available. By completing a 3D scan of a property, you will be able to create much more accurate set of plans for the contractors to price. Now, depending on what camera you use will determine the intensity of the point cloud data you collect. The term scan to CAD or scan to BIM involves a 3D camera or scanner capturing the real site information, uploading onto a computer program and using the actual site data to generate accurate designs. Compared to hand measuring an entire site, the scan to CAD process reduces design times by up to 40%. Again, this is assuming you have a properly trained person completing the scan, or you hire a professional company to complete this work. So after months of design meetings, discussions, revisions, the design package is ready to tender to a contractor. Oftentimes the project is a renovation or an upgrade to an existing space. So an entire tender bid walk is often required. Now understand that a 3D model 
does not replace contract documents. However, they are a powerful tool to add to them and to enhance the communication and receive better pricing for our clients. We can all agree that an on-site tender site walk is important so that the contractor has a chance to physically confirm site conditions before they submit a bid price. Well, there are a few issues with this critical step that can be significantly improved by simply providing a 3D virtual model of the space prior to bid. Number one, the contractors have very limited time to see the space, check a few measurements, snap a few photos. Oftentimes, the person who completes that site walk is not the same person creating the bid. This results in a higher than required inflated bid cost simply to cover the unknown obstacles that may harm profitability. And number two, remote sites are often difficult to get to if a mandatory bid walkthrough is required. So again, by sharing a 3D virtual tour, you'll be able to reach more qualified contractors to receive a higher number of bids to compare to. So here's an example of one of our projects where we created a drawing for an existing school mechanical room. The issue was that the original installation allowed the outdoor combustion air duct to freeze out a sprinkler line. Now this project site is about two hour round trip from our office. So limiting site visits for this small scope of work was preferred. Now this drawing is pretty typical with one big improvement the QR code we added to allow bidding contractors to virtually visit our site. And within that 3D model, we included our drawing keynotes to itemize what was required to bid on. As you can see, this is the outdoor duct that is required to be modified to prevent freezing. Now, just by looking at those drawings or this photo, do you know what's above you or how high the ceiling is? Well, the answer is no, you can't. Here's the sprinkler head that had froze on our beautiful minus 35 days in Alberta. So again, this is the virtual tag that we added to show the bidding contractor what was the problem and why we needed this revised. Anyone know what we're, where we were looking? Still no, eh? So the reason we have the outdoor air duct is that the boiler burns natural gas and it requires air to burn. So the manufacturer allows you to either draw from the room via that duct or directly from outside ducted right to the top of the boiler. So the second option was required to help stop this freezing issue. So based on the drawings, this photo, we still can't tell what other issues might get in the way for running new combustion air ducts? Well, here is a powerful visual to show you how fast you can share a 3D virtual model. So any smartphone can simply hold up their camera, read the QR code, and boom, you're transported right into that site. No passwords, no, no apps to download. It's all a web-based app. And as you can see, we embedded those drawing keynotes right onto the model and the contractor can check his orientations and um, produce a much more accurate bid price. So I'm gonna do the full size version so you can get a sense of what a bidding contractor might check before submitting a price. So this particular scan took me about 30 minutes to complete very quick. And again, this site is a two hour round trip from our office. So this saved us multiple site visits, hours driving back and forth and not only my design team, but also the bidding contractors and their subs were able to access this model and save additional trips. So it's really multiple days of driving and time on site 
saved by this little quick and easy site model. And as you can see, this is where we tag the drawing notes. The contractor can easily look around and see all the obstructions in the way of that ductwork that potentially could have cost them profits on this project. And the number two detail, this is how clear it is to see where that frozen sprinkler pipe is. It's underneath the ductwork on the left side. So with just site photos, it's tough to tell now the contractor can actually see how it's supported, what other obstacles are in the way to help improve the clarity on the bid costing. And again, here are the boilers where they have to run the ductwork to direct combust the boilers. So it has to run the length of that mechanical room. And as you can see, it is quite high ceiling that you might not get from the 2D plans or the few site photos that you snapped on site. So as you can see, we can we can check the obstructions up high, we can zoom in. And again, this was a quick 30 minute scan of this mechanical room and it was easy to add to our drawing set. So this particular scan is about 98% accurate and inside the model, a contractor or anyone looking at it can check measurements. So again, we can quickly check the distance between the boilers if need be. We can also uh, double click and snap a line up to see the height um, from floor to ceiling. So as you can see, uh, very useful tool for receiving accurate bids. So now that the contractor has been awarded, the real fun begins. Now we have to build it. We have to make sure we understand all the advanced cave drawings and legal specifications required. So the project has been awarded and handed off to the construction management team. Well, oftentimes this is an entirely new set of people and now have to orientate themselves with the space and the many items discussed or clarified during those design planning meetings. So a lot of that information gets lost in the handoff. So by keeping a 3D virtual model throughout the design meetings, you can document and virtually tag specific discussion points and decisions directly to that key area. This reduces errors and change orders throughout the project. Now we've all noticed the huge increase in construction and material costs over the past year and what impacts that's had on our projects. Oftentimes the cost has been so high that ownership has no choice but to stop the construction. Now more than ever, we need to utilize technology to help reduce these costs and increase our efficiency online. Of note, Calgary was the highest increase at 30.4%. So definitely a big impact on our industry. Without a clear understanding of the scope of work and all the other variables that may affect a contractor from completing that scope of work, you will often be hit with change orders for these unforeseen conditions. Buildings today are often full of sophisticated and complex systems. Designs often include a detailed building envelope, intricate framing, multiple lighting zones, life safety, and fire alarm, and the most important, mechanical, which of course includes plumbing, heating, cooling, fresh air, ventilation, fire protection, and a BMS automation system to control it all. Successful projects require a focused design and construction group with a clear vision. I have been fortunate to have been part of many win-win projects. When a developer is delivered the space they wanted, the design team had very few issues or questions during construction, and the contractors completed their build on time and on budget. Now, unfortunately, this is not the norm in our industry. In fact, rework costs the construction industry over $450 billion a year. According to McKinsey and Company, 20% of construction projects run over schedule and 80% run over budget. Now, I must admit, when I started my career, 
There wasn't much for digital document control. So oftentimes projects were completed and changes were made on site from the back of a napkin or word of mouth. No records, no paper trail. Many existing properties we work on now have very limited record drawings. And as a result, it costs more for an owner to complete a new project or expansion. Thankfully, times have changed and many sites have invested in digital document control programs that when managed correctly can make searching for these documents extremely fast and easy. The benefit to 3D models is that the web-based link can easily be saved and viewed directly within these platforms. Now, anyone anywhere in the world can log in and view the latest progress on site. So I currently manage about 25 to 30 projects at various stages. I used to take thousands of photos to capture progress, installation quality, and any noted deficiencies. Well, the problem was it was very time consuming sorting through all the photos and searching for that one angle I wanted in my report. All of these photo files take up large amounts of storage in our company's hard drives. And if you've ever tried to look for a specific time in a life of a project, it can be very difficult, if not impossible. While I agree that photos are an essential part of documenting a project, the advantage of a 3D model is that I can reduce my time searching through photos and instantly understand where I am looking in that project. After we started using a 3D camera on site, I wasn't exactly impressed. While the standalone 360 photos and videos did help orientate where you were on site compared to the standard photos, it was difficult to share unless the receiving party also had that specific program to view. After a few site visits with the first 360 camera, it was left in our equipment locker for months. I continued to use my smartphone to capture photos to, on site to create my field reports and efficiency logs. There was no question that searching through hundreds of site photos is very time consuming just to try to find that one location that was not quite right on site. Oftentimes, or months or years later, you end up searching through other people's files to help answer a question or resolve an issue. It wasn't until I found a new software platform that allowed me to use these 360 images to generate an interactive 3D virtual model that I could easily share with anyone through a web-based link. And that was when I got really excited and started to research more. While in construction, one of my biggest frustrations was waiting on answers from the design team and having to redo work already completed. Now that I'm on the consulting side, I'm using 3D models so that, that I can help respond to the questions and provide directions in half the time as before. So here's an example of one of our field reports generated during the rough-in stage. So as you can see, the 3D models are so easy to share that anyone that clicks on that link in the report will be able to review the site progress anywhere in the world. Monthly progress draws often require consultants to complete a site review in order for payment to be processed. As much as I don't want to admit it, we are often too busy to get to site as fast as the speed of a project. As a result, progress review letters can be late and this can cause a delay in payment from the client. This is where completing a scan of your site and sharing that model will often have a positive effect on getting paid sooner. Now, by keeping 3D virtual models while in construction, you can document and virtually tag specific discussion points and decisions directly in a key area. This reduces errors and change orders on site. As you tag an area and comment your deficiency, the responsible team member will receive an email alert. And when they click on that email link, they will be transported right to the same viewpoint within your model to read that deficiency note. Very cool. So who can take a 3D site scan is like asking who can take a photo on site. 
The beauty of this technology is that anyone involved in the project that wants to improve communication can complete a 3D scan of the site. Oftentimes, I will quickly create a 3D model and jump on a Teams video call to review an issue with the project site. So the next 3D model I'm going to share with you is part of our energy efficiency design from our client in Jasper. This is a steam power plant that generates power for the entire resort. So this is a two to three day visit from our office. And by keeping this model, we have saved hundreds of hours of travel time to and from site. So as you can see, it's very clear to look around this site and we added a few highlights just for your reference. So this particular view is the safety orientation view that the general contractors safety team was able to embed their training video right inside the model. So this is the safest way to train personnel before they get to a loud, busy construction site or steam plant facility. We also embedded fire extinguisher training videos right inside the model, just to give a refresher of how that procedure is to take place. If we can see, save an incident on site, we are definitely winning on this project. And again, the emergency shutoff valves, the facility engineers wanted all staff working in this property to know where they were. So we were easily able to tag them as noted here, the gas shut off for the steam boilers in case anything happened. All personnel would understand where that was and how to shut it off. So these site models are very easy to view and, and walk virtually walk around the site. My five-year-old daughter on an iPad can actually safely visit this site and click click the, the screen and walk about site. So all of those white dots you see on the floor are actually scan points I completed while on site. And the software auto-generated this 3D virtual model. So we can actually select who is viewing the model. So we were just looking at the safety orientation. Now we're going to look at mechanical. And I was able to embed the different keynotes and communicate what order of work we needed completed on site and which timelines to complete that work. So number one up there would be the emergency gen or the generator exhaust to be demoed. And the specific date was tagged in that note. Number two was disconnecting the fuel lines, as you can see here. And again, we can time, we can say the time that that will be discon disconnected so that everyone involved in the um, critical shutdown planning understands and can visually see it. And you can easily pop up to map view to see the whole site and drop down to the next item, which is item three. This is where we want our new domestic hot water heating pumps to be located. So they have to construct an extension of that catwalk. And as you can see, I can easily explain and share this information with structural or any bidding contractor, again, to save them two to three days travel. And again, just the auxiliary systems in the way, like the, the expansion tank and all the piping in the way. So it really gives a clear sense of the scope of work. And finally, these are the boiler feed pumps that the uh, facility engineer did want to retain after the demo just for spare parts. They were in working order. However, our project included uh, installing new. And again, with those new pumps, the contractor wanted to verify how much clearance he had underneath that uh, structural beam. So he can quickly check that measurement inside the model, saving trips to site. And again, with this particular camera that I took to site, it's about 98% accurate. So it is accurate enough to get certain measurements. Uh, however, the more expensive laser scanners um, do provide a higher level of accuracy. 
if you were to generate um, CAD drawings off of this uh, background technology. So by creating and sharing these 3D site models, we were able to reduce site time and travel considerably. So as you can see, this project is still in construction. However, we've saved hours of design time and we've reduced our carbon footprint for traveling back and forth from site. We've received very few RFIs and questions. And we also have been able to return progress draws very fast in order to get the contractor paid for the work they did complete on site. So we've all had a project where we've had to make a change or we didn't exactly know where pipes or conduits were behind the walls. Well, now with the help of 3D models, I'm gonna show you how this is now possible. So this particular site was scanned at multiple times during construction. This is the final finished product scanned with a Pro 2 3D camera. And as you can see, we can clearly see the state of this program. Well, if we wanna see what's in the walls compared to the construction phase, the rough in stage, this technology can allow you to do that. So I was blown away when I saw this and I'm happy to share this with you today. And I'm sure you're all getting ideas of what you can use this for on your project. So I would highly recommend that you do invest the time to get the right camera and understand how to complete this particular technology because this will save you hundreds of hours and headache on site after the fact. So as you scroll through the 3D model in the rough in stage, it also aligns the viewpoint from the finishing construction stage. So very powerful tool to use on site. <coughs> so as builds are often lacking in detail and as a result, when upgrades are required, additional work from the original design will cost more to update. I was recently on a 1970s vin vintage renovation and the as builds noted a large supply air duct. However, when I went to site to verify, it was not in that location. The contractor was justified in requesting a change order to increase the size of that ductwork since the as builds were not accurate. And this did result in extra design changes to the project. Now, by completing a 3D digital as build before design and after, you will ensure accuracy far beyond what we have today. So we recently completed a fire hall renovation and during my one year warranty review, I completed a 3D scan of the fire hall for a digital record as build. Now, as you will see, the 3D model is very similar to the Google Street View you see online. It is very easy to navigate with one click of a play button, the viewer will be toured through, through the space and all the highlighted items will be showcased. <clears throat> so once inside the model, the viewer has a few options. Depending on uh, the settings you do set inside the model, they can navigate freely around, they can measure distances, view from above plan view or drop down into the building. The creator of this model can embed vital information through virtual tags on pieces of equipment or specific areas. So these tags can provide access to operation manuals, shutdown procedures, or any other useful information you want to store in that location. So this fire hall is a two hour round trip from our office and an eight hour round trip from our Edmonton office, which the engineer of record is out of. So if I didn't get the information that they required or a measurement, this would save us hours in travel. 
<clears throat> As you can see, we quickly check the threshold measurement. And again, by double clicking the ground, it snapped to the ceiling so we can get an accurate sense of how high we had for clearance in that space. Another tertiary benefit to, for the Firehawk as our client is the visual timestamp record of the equipment, assets, and condition of the space if, heaven forbid, there were ever an insurance claim from loss on the property. Meaning there's no argument from an insurance adjuster if anything should happen. So do consider this as a value add to your project, um, not only for business development, but also for the uh, insurance side of a project. So now that the design and construction team has handed over the project, the facility team has to operate and manage their new systems installed. So the better the training, the happier your customer will be and the fewer callbacks you will receive. <clears throat> so in the middle of the pandemic, I was tasked with commissioning and testing some key lab equipment designed to kill viruses. So I was tasked with that lucky job and I want to share with you a 3D model that I completed on site and uh, the timelines that took place. So when I originally did my test in 2020, that piece of equipment on the left, the big tank, is an effluent discharge tank, meaning when the lab decides to kill a, a harmful virus they had tested, they put it in that machine and it superheats to kill the virus. So my commissioning scope was to physically check the tank and run the test and verify that it indeed did get hot enough at all levels of the tank to make sure that the virus was killed. So my, on my first visit, there was a very knowledgeable, experienced building operator running this lab facility. However, a few years later, when I had to come back and retest the equipment, he had since retired and new junior facility operators were now running this critical lab environment. So what I decided to do was create a 3D model for the new facility operators. And what I did was I tagged key information so that they could learn what their systems involved, how to get help if needed, and how the maintenance was supposed to go on this particular critical equipment. So as you can see, I virtually tagged um, this equipment. I embedded training videos, and it's very easy to click and get access to that information. So the new building operators were very thankful that I did share this information because again, this is a key lab facility in the middle of the pandemic <clears throat> and they weren't familiar with the equipment. So by embedding the specifications, they were able to gain the experience that had walked out and retired. And they were very thankful that I produced this for them. As you can see, um, I embedded the spec sheets so that they can quickly refer to it and they have all the contact details of the manufacturer if they have any questions. So very powerful tool to share with a client. So now we will review startup costs for creating these 3D models. So when I first started, I simply started with my iPhone free in my office. Now, if you're using a camera phone, you can create these 3D models very fast and easy. However, you will be limited on the image quality. And if you are looking to do a scan to CAD, um, it's not necessarily possible with iPhones at this point. So I'd consider um, either outsourcing that if you're just getting started or investing in a more advanced camera. So the next level up, and this is one of my favorite cameras, is the Insta360 ONE X2. So this camera is a very high resolution, easy to carry on a flight or in a travel bag. This is ideal for, for photogrammetry aspect of a 3D model. However, it cannot be used to create accurate scans to CAD or BIM. 
the images generated by this camera can be viewed separately or uploaded to a software platform of your choice to generate a 3D model. Now the Pro 2 is a great 3D camera because it's a low cost to purchase compared to what you get. The Pro 2 is a fast at capturing scans and also has a very high resolution image quality. This camera is manufactured and only can be used by their proprietary software. So keep that in mind. We use the Matterport software as we find it dependable and affordable for the quality of product it produces. The Pro 2 is designed for indoor use and not scanning in direct sunlight, as this can affect the image quality. Now Matterport did recently come out with the Pro 2, which is a fresh, new camera on the market and is reasonably priced for the advanced 3D scanning capabilities it produces. The Pro 2 is rated for outdoors and indoors and the image quality is very impressive. So the next level up is Leica and Leica is a manufacturer of many different laser scanning technologies. So they offer precise scanning and this particular camera is the BLK360. Now this offers a 99.9% .9 accuracy rate within 30 meters of that scan point. So very powerful. They also have their own software platforms and can integrate into your CAD or BIM programs. As professional Leica is, they are on the higher price range. However, the handheld scanners as shown in this photo, allows the user to walk through a site and generate millions of data of point cloud information that can then be uploaded to generate these point clouds and uh, create a basis of design for CAD or BIM models. So another camera by Leica, which I was very impressed with, is the self-flying drone that can scan the exterior of a building in minutes and capture progress or create base drawings. So this is the BLK to fly, which is a very cool piece of technology if you're looking to reduce your design costs for an exterior property. So this powerful laser scanner can help reduce design by up to 40% and will automatically generate impressive point cloud information. So if you are interested in lowering costs, reducing rework, and improving overall communication on site with 3D models, connect with me and I will be happy to discuss education options and the best hardware to start with. Thank you again for your time. It was a pleasure for me to discuss my passion on 3D site models and how it's improved our site and productivity. So please take a scan of the QR code and uh, provide a rating for me. I will be happy to see the feedback. Again, I wanna thank BuildX Alberta for hosting me on this live event and again on this, on this virtual call. Uh, this video will be embedded inside the 3D model I completed at BuildX Alberta in 2022. So if you haven't been to BuildX, I highly recommend you come in person and learn from experienced speakers such as myself and all the other experienced speakers at the event. And it's really great to network with people in person um, as opposed to online. So I highly recommend you get your tickets for next year or mark it on the calendar. I believe they're already pre-selling as well. Thanks everyone. Have a great day. Thank you for your time.